in this video, I am going to be telling you everything that you need to solo a tier 2 E-Man. So first up, we have the, the weapon. I'm using a Void Edge Katana because I don't want to spend... Like, you don't need a Vorpal. You can get a Vorpal if you want. Vorpal Katana. It is decently expensive, just 9 mil clean, 10 mil clean. But it is pretty strong, it does a lot more damage than this. I could solo a tier 3 with this in terms of damage, but I'm using this because I'm just like showing you that you don't need an expensive weapon. This I spent 9 mil, but that's because it's like optimized for gemstones, fabled, you could probably spend like 4 mil and get away with it, fine. I'm using a mana flux because it gives a lot of mana regen, base mana regen, which you do need for a boss. It is very helpful. When I do do Q falls, I will use an overflux, but that's irrelevant because that's like a hundred mil. But I use a mana flux just to make it a bit easier. Um, you don't need a juju. That was just that's just my main weapon. Otherwise, um, you don't need that for a healing wand. You do not need an wand of atonement, which is ten mil. You can get away with a. Uh, Wand of Restoration, which is around 2 mil. I would recommend getting Ultimize 5 on it, because that just makes it use half the mana. Uh, Flora Zombie Sword, it's 1 mil, plus Ultimize 5 is like 4 mil, and it's very good. If you take a bunch of damage, you can just spam heal, and just get back up to full health instantly, and then this is just for slow healing. For Pet, I'm using an Enderman. I spent like 3 mil on this or whatever, 2 mil. Um, I added sting skin because it was cool and it was 150k. Uh, this main thing is 54 crit damage, but also take 20% less damage from end monsters, which does include the end boss. Um, the Void Edge Katana, because it, wait, sorry, the tier 2 Emin, because it is an end mob, so you take 20% less damage, which is a very good buff for like 2 mil, just because of the pet. Um, for armor, I got Final Destination is really good, because when you sneak, you get a bunch of damage, strength, Intelligence, ferocity, all that stuff. And it's just a decent set overall. Plus you have the piece bonus, which gives you like 200 defense per piece. I bought them with like 3k kills on each. You don't, you technically don't need it. It's just if you buy a clean set, I would recommend getting to 1k kills just for that plus like 150 defense. I bought this piece for 2 mil, 1.8 mil, 1.4, 1.7. So that's 8 mil plus this. 15 mil, you could probably get away with like 4 mil, so that's like 10 mil, 15 mil, plus like these two. It's around 25 mil to 30 mil for a tier 2 setup. And it was pretty easy to kill. You do remember, right click with this with the plus bonus ferocity, and just sneak the whole time you're fighting the boss. I also recommend to go F5, just so you can see everywhere around all the beacons. But yeah, honestly. It's a pretty cheap set, and it does the job well, so yeah. Okay, so we are here. Time to attempt to do- it should be pretty this gear. I'll talk about this after. Um, let's get a spawning. Sorry for the loud game sounds, I forgot to turn them down. Basically, during this fight, you just wanna smack the Enderman. Um, when he throws out beacons, you want to run to them, and during the fight, just remember to shift, uh, constantly just right click your sword every like 3 seconds to get the ability, use your healing wand, and replace the mana flux whenever it runs out. Whenever you see the boss throw out a beacon like he just did, you just want to run to it and just walk right next to it, like just walk up to it and that'll just uh, deactivate it. If you do not, you'll be insta-killed in 5 seconds. So yeah, just remember to walk up to the beacons.
That one was actually like free. That was too easy, but yeah.